Morning guys, welcome to another experience video. Today we are concentrating on this. This is a race chip tuned A45 AMG. Now we're going to tell you more about race chip, the company and everything uh, in a tiny bit. But first of all, the Mercedes A45 AMG, you guys know the car, five door hatchback. Uh, this has been a really good selling car. It actually <laughs> gets so many likes on Instagram. Yeah. You know, Archie's how many likes it gets. It's mad. Anyways, I love them. I think they're very cool. I think AMG are making great products at the moment. So. What we're going to do is we're going to walk you around all of the different aesthetics of the outside. Then we're going to bring you to the engine, talk to you about race chip and everything, show you the inside and then take it for a little drive. So let's get started. First things first, when you get the A45, you get the AMG version, you get the full sort of uh, kit at the front, much more sporty looking than the usual ones. The thing that's actually quite surprising with A classes and also C classes, which Mercedes make now, is that you can get the non uh, AMG versions that look quite a bit like AMGs. We've got someone walking past with a little bit of a ring. Yeah. <laughs> These are one take videos, so sometimes this stuff will happen. Anyways, we've got very cool looking um, rims with the sport brakes as well, which is pretty, pretty cool. The matte black rims, those kind of look like um, the 507 edition C63s. Around the side, so here you've got a race chip logo, known as Speed Industries as well. The red brake calipers as well. Everything's been all blacked out on the side on this one, which is very, very cool. It's also got the Mercedes sort of sports exhaust, which gets rid of one, uh, one cat, I think, and it makes it sound a bit better, so on upshifts, but you'll hear that later. It sounds pretty good. I mean, it's not going exhaust quite as mad as, uh, as Archie's. Yeah, anyways, Archie's is... We've then got the diffuser around back as well. We've got the boot. I'm not sure if there's loads of stuff in it. Not too much. We've got a little race chip bag. Pretty, pretty, can, pretty big boot, actually. Um, this is really one of those cars that you can drive daily. I mean, Archie drives his daily and we use it daily when we're with him. That was loud. Just, you know, a fighter jet. <laughs> Where is it? What is it doing? He's over here. Wake up. Can you see it? Or oh, the birds? Birds are fighting. Anyways, yeah. That's a fighter jet. Back to the car. Um, around this side, all the same stuff. You got these little side skirts. Um, a bunch of people make uh, make oh, yeah. Where is it? This is getting loud. Yeah, and we haven't seen it yet. It's hiding in the, the clouds. Okay, <laughs> let's open the uh, the hood, which I believe is just right there, like that. So also, by the way, the key. Typical AMG key, you just have your unlock and lock buttons. Um, then you have to get the little. Where is it? You, you did this earlier. I think yeah. you have to do some kind of trickery, trackery. There we go. <laughs> it's setting off alarms. Holy crap! I don't know. Ideal for the video. <laughs> Look at all the birds over there. It's frightening. They're so loud, but we can't see it. You must be in the clouds. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Anyways, yes. <laughs> Sorry, the engine. Um, so starting off with 341 or 370? 380. Oh, 300. Starts off with 381. Then it's got right here. This is the race chip. So. This you can actually control through an app on your phone, which I'll show you in a tiny bit. So you can actually have it in three different modes and at full power, in the optimum conditions, you're hitting 471 horsepower. So this completely changes the whole character of the car, makes it a bit more of a beast. And you can really have like sort of a mini supercar in a daily, which you can't necessarily, you know, like the A45 is a sports car, but this will put out some serious numbers on the chip. So it makes a massive difference and it's so tiny, easy to install. I mean, the price of the car is around 48,000 pounds, something like that. And then this is just under five and a half thousand for the race chip tuning. And you add so much power and change the character of your car. So very cool to be able to see that. Fighter jets coming back. Yeah, 
impossible to spot him, yeah. There we go. Okay, do you want to hop in the side? Yeah. I'll show you the interior. Inside this one. This dude is ruining our video. Yeah. Inside it has the all essential sport bucket seats. Now I wouldn't be able to order a modern AMG without these seats. They are absolutely stunning. Very, very comfortable. Hold you in super nicely. So it makes a really big difference uh, compared to the normal seats. And then you've got the typical... This fighter jet, man. Yeah, but it should be fine. Yeah. We've got this typical Alcantara AMG steering wheel. Um, which actually, if I switch the car on, all you need to do is press the start button, which is over here. The car will start up. Uh, the steering wheel's got the up, up shift and down shift paddles. Let's tone the air down. Tone the air How do we do that? Uh, uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, up shift, down shift paddles, which are very, actually, really nice on this car. They're very metallic feeling. What I hate is when cars have plastic feeling panels. These are actually properly metallic in that AMG way. Um, now then, let's start here. You've got the typical AMG, well, Mercedes seat controls, uh, which are on the door. I always end up looking for them down here, but once you're used to it, it's not too bad. You can move the seats all sorts of different directions, um, which is really nice. You can even move your... No, this one nope, doesn't. No, no, you can't. Because <laughs> you have the sports seats. Because you have the sports seats, exactly. But you've got memory, um, three-way memory seats. And then down here, we've got all of the mirror controls, as you do in any car. The light controls over this end. Start, stop uh, button. Voice command, phone, volume, all of the menu settings for the middle screen right here, which is, uh, which is it gives you basically all of your, which mode you're in, um, that is controlled down here. You get your choice of five modes, individual, where you can set up sort of, a, if you want it to be loud but comfortable, for example, or, you know, uncomfortable but and not loud, I don't see why you do that, but anyways, comfort which is sort of your cruising daily usage. Sport, Sport Plus, and Race, which all fiddle with the steering, um, the exhaust, the traction control, and you know, every single one, it gets a bit more intense and hardcore. Uh, we then got uh, digital, um, sorry, analog dash, rather than digital, like you have on the new Audis, for example. So it goes all the way up to 200 miles an hour here, which I think is slightly optimistic. So. Yeah. And then the revs. Um, and then basically just the screen in the middle. Another screen here, now this is where a lot of people are divided on this screen because it's kind of like a floating iPad and some people really don't like the way it looks. I think it looks really nice. It's controlled by this little toggle switch down here. Um, so you can go, you know, between your maps, between your, your radio settings, everything like that. And I think it works quite well. It reminds me of the old iDrives or current iDrive systems and BMWs. Um, and I think it actually works quite well. You then got all of your radio controls, your volume and all of that sort of stuff. It's actually got a standard sound system in this one, but to be honest, it's, it's pretty good. Um, actually, no, I take that back. Harmon and Carden. Harmon and Carden sound system, which sounds pretty good. Um, and yeah, then you've got down here your heated seats, which you still can have that as an option with the sport seats. This is for your suspension. This is traction off. That's the fun button. Uh, exhaust, which must always remain on. You want that. Uh, parking sensors on and off. Hazards, obviously. And then your auto start stop on and off. And then your climate controls down here. Little cubby uh, where you can have a 12 volt charger. You can put your keys or things like that. Another little one here for your sunglasses, which is pretty cool. Uh, then we have all the lighting, um, you have your sunroof, which opens here as well. So the whole sunroof will open up, which is quite nice on a car like this, because then you can properly hear the noise. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. And more cup holders down here, massive storage bin with two uh, USB charger charging pods, more storage down here. And overall, this being a bit of a daily driver, you've got a big glove box and different things which mean that it is just perfect for daily use really. Round back, you've got plenty of room. The black uh, leather with the black Alcantara and the red stitching is very, very nice. And overall, it, yeah, it's pretty special. Now then, do you wanna hear how it sounds? Let's do it. From in here. Oh. Pops quite a bit. Poppity pop. Pop, do you wanna go back? Yep. And you can check it out.
That sounds pretty good, right? It does. I mean, for, for a little daily driver. It does. Those pops. Absolutely crazy. Now then, let's give this race chip 845 a drive. Welcome to the race chip 845 AMG. This thing is a beast. Now then, I've spent I've been lucky enough to spend quite a bit of time in A45s and driving them thanks to Archie and his car. But after driving this car for a couple of minutes, I can already feel that it is quite a bit more powerful. Don't tell Archie I said that. <laughs> but genuinely feels a lot faster. So we're just driving down some pretty random little roads. The main thing that I'm feeling right now is that this car is really, really like one of those and I know I keep saying this a lot and we've been trying out a lot of cars that say this but it's this new thing that you didn't used to have before before if you had a supercar or if you had something that performed like crazy well you'd have all the compromises of not being able to park it easily it used insane amounts of petrol it was too loud and stuff whereas now you can have something like this which genuinely has some crazy performance like that but you could, do, you could use it every day you could go on long trips you could as a lot of people do but when you want to and you put your foot down you can put some seriously expensive cars to shame so that's one thing which is further complemented by the race chip which we put into this car which actually what we might do now is whip out this app where you guys will be able to see the three different modes that we can put um, the race chip in and it can it will work along with the engine to give you sort of more um, adjustability depending on what you're doing what you're driving okay so as you can see this is the app the bluetooth app which controls the uh the race chip so you have three different modes sport efficiency and race and then for example if ao takes the car and i don't want ao to have uh, any tuning on the car i want it to be back to stock i can switch everything off and then i can also put a warm-up timer um which means that the tuning the chip will only really kick in after a certain amount of time so you have time to let the engine warm up so a bunch of cool little features like this linked to the to the chip um, and really make a, a difference to a car like this and also it's it's uh, it's an accessible price as well so that's kind of cool so I'm gonna give that back to you we're gonna hit the road again okay well just feeling how this car is to drive first of all this car has the uh, the sport brake straight from Mercedes from the factory which don't only look great but if I accelerate a bit and we get on the brakes you'll feel and that was like that was like 20% on the brakes. They're very, very impressive brakes, which is always important. And it's also kind of nice when you tune a car like this that you don't necessarily need to uh, need to upgrade all the rest of it, and it becomes super, super expensive. When a car's already sort of built and it can handle the tuning straight from the factory, that's always a positive. Uh, the steering's really nice. I've always liked the steering in this car. It's obviously not quite the same as in the Lotus, which doesn't have any power steering, but it's really not bad at all. The gearbox. Even though there was a small delay, it is still pretty responsive and does a good job at, I mean, for anyone that doesn't drive uh, sort of crazy cars, uh, you would have no idea. I mean, I, I haven't driven enough nice cars to really be able to tell a massive difference. So um, to your average Joe, this gearbox is absolutely perfect. It sounds really good as well. It's very addictive. And overall, this is just a brilliant car at doing what you want it to do, which is excite you basically on your daily commute. Anyways, we're going to head back now to the show, to Goodwood. Uh, but I want to say a massive thank to Nolan Speed Industries, which is the UK distributor and to Race Chip for lending us this car for this video. It's been really good fun. Um, I am going to put a link in the description as well so you guys can check all that stuff out. It's been really good fun. Thank you to you all for watching. And if you aren't already, please remember to... Whoa, that was a bit of a late shift as soon as you hit the limiter. To subscribe. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye. Quick cap saying it, Saturday in the mouth. There's no Juliet.